Okay. Hello, YouTubers. <laughs> um, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I recorded a video with an intro. And I just watched it right now, and the intro was awful. <laughs> so I, so this is the new intro. Hi. Much better. Okay. I was going to start writing down some of the questions I have about cryptic babies specifically like like the questions I have about how a baby can control um, how fast or slow it grows as well as how much um, stress or nutrients it's pulling from the mother in order to save its own life I was you know, I just have a lot of questions about how that's possible compared um, to a baby or a pregnancy where the mother miscarries and the baby does not have that ability. Um, so I was going to start writing down a lot of these questions and then I figured why not just get on here and record something really quickly um, and see if maybe I can save myself some time and get this out um, versus having to write it down and possibly um, write a post about it or even record a video so yeah so I was just like thinking <clears throat> You know how how is it possible that a baby can control um, how the the rate of growth um, when there's other babies out there that have no control over that and and some of them do have major complications and consequences and major health complications um, as a result and how come those babies don't get this special I'm going to say special genetic ability um, to, to control and kind of save its own life in a way. Um, I really feel like when you say that a, a baby or a, sorry, a pregnancy is going to last two to five years, two to seven years because a baby has the ability to take less nutrients from the mother and slow down its growth in order to preserve its own life. It's something that's very hard for me to wrap my head around. Um, you know, it, it kind of comes down to a whole new breed of, of human because because if this baby has this ability, then that means that it has specific genes that have this ability. Um, so that means that it, it can um, control the rate in which it grows and that can, I mean, that would, that's amazing. That's like crazy amazing. And, and so I don't know if the cryptic the two to seven year cryptic pregnancy community knows or is aware of what they're claiming to be true if you really think about it that means that these specific babies genes have mutated or have changed in some sort of way in order to make this possible so that would be a whole new breed of human I, do, do you know what I'm, does that make sense? I hope so. Um, because that's what it comes down to. It, it's not going to be a normal baby because it has this ability. A normal baby would just have aborted or, sorry, it would have just been like a spontaneous abortion or it would just been a miscarriage. And instead, this baby 
was able to go around that and save its own life. And so that would be, that's, that's, that's incredible. Um, so that's one of my major questions about a two to seven year cryptic pregnancy and a cryptic baby is if, if these babies are actually being born, then these babies should be able to be genetically tested and they would be different from that of a normal baby who was in the womb for nine months versus that baby who is a cryptic baby. Um, a lot of, I don't, I have, I have no real proof that anybody has ever given birth to a cryptic baby. I have a lot of women who have said that they have given birth to a cryptic baby but have absolutely nothing to provide me in order to prove that they were in fact pregnant for longer than the rare 12 month gestation. So, so yeah, these babies, the women who say that they've given birth to these babies, these babies should be able to be genetically tested in order to to determine the possibility of a two to seven year cryptic pregnancy because obviously their genes would be different because they have the ability to to not take as much nutrients to slow down its growth in order to preserve preserve its own life so that would be like i said that's incredible i mean that would be to be able to slow down your growth that means that so when does this baby stop growing really slowly and then when does it go back to normal growth and and if it really has the ability to do that to determine that then their genes would most definitely be different than that of a normal nine month baby so yeah and i've 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 delved into this before and I've asked this question before in the very beginning in, in my first um, some of my first videos <clears throat> I specifically ask you know what, what what makes that your specific baby so special if, if you are in fact pregnant with a cryptic baby then your this baby's genes would be different you yourself would have to be different in order to carry a two to seven year pregnancy as a woman your genetic makeup your genetic makeup as a person as a woman would have to be different in order to carry a two to seven year pregnancy because your uterus would have to be able to sustain a two to seven year pregnancy. So something about you would have to be different. So I would, I've also suggested that the women who are claiming that they are cryptically pregnant get genetic testing done. And I talked about that in the video I posted yesterday. So yeah, these are just some of my questions and I want to bring them back up because like I said, I haven't talked about them, but they're important. So, and I think that women who are claiming to be cryptically pregnant or two to seven years cryptically pregnant, these, these, these questions need to be brought up. They need to ask themselves these questions. How is it possible? And maybe you should get genetic tested, genetic testing. So, yeah, I hope this helps somebody. Bye. So, I don't know what was up with that ending. I kind of just, like, wanted to hurry up and get off. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are well. I hope you got something out of the content of this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comments section below. 
Um, I'm trying to think and say stuff at the same time, and it's really hard right now because this heater is like so loud that it's it's like distracting me. Sorry. Anyways, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're well. If you're not, get well. <laughs> Um, stay flat, stay, oh my gosh, wow. Okay, let me see if I can do this one more time. Stay blessed, friends. Bye.